Good morning and welcome to the celebrations of the Digital India Week. I'm Professor Fatak. Many of you would uh, know me. We have been interacting with each other at remote centers. Uh, I'm sorry to deviate slightly from the printed program where Dr. Mukta Atre was to initiate the discussions. I'm stealing some minutes from her time. Uh, I assure you that she'll come back shortly. Uh, I wanted to share with all the participants of this event uh, two important things. The first is a new experiment in massive open online courses called the blended MOOCs is being launched as part of the uh, Digital India efforts where students of some institutions will study a particular subject both from their local teachers as well as from the massive open online courses offered by IIT Bombay. For this, a consortium has been formed, initially joined by 55 of our remote centers. I'm sure many of them will be present here. I would like to compliment the leadership at these institutions to have come forward to do this experiment. This is the first experiment in the world where students from a large number of institutions will now get the grades in particular subjects that they study, both from the local assessment as well as online assessment and learning from the MOOCs. They will learn from both the local teaching as well as MOOCs teaching. I hope that this number will increase to 500 institutions next year and maybe to 5,000 institutions year after. That is the power of the digital collaboration where all like-minded people come together to increase the effectiveness of teaching learning process. The second point that I would like to make is that empowering India digitally does not mean just running higher education courses for the benefit of students and teachers who participate in these. However large that number be, for example, we train 10,000 teachers at a time in our training programs. MOOCs are attended to by lakhs of people. But let us not forget that there are crores and crores of young Indians wanting to be empowered digitally. And this cannot be attempted by one institution or a few institutions working in isolation. My request to all the remote centers which have joined today is that they should not only celebrate the Digital India Week in their own institutions, but commit themselves as we have committed in IIT Bombay to work assiduously for people in their own regions so that they can take whatever expertise they have with them for the benefit of students of schools, colleges, and other institutions to empower them digitally. Thank you so much, and welcome once again. I will request Dr. Mukta to take over. Thank you, Professor Fatak. Thank you. And Thank you so much. Can I sit down, Sushant? Yeah. Thank you, Professor Fatak, for taking out time from your very, very busy schedule. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this uh, celebration of the Digital India Week. And uh, we have been playing a very uh, big role in uh, uh, bridging distances across the country, uh, especially uh, you know, uh, reaching out to teachers uh, in the remote areas who do not normally have uh, recourse to any kind of uh, uh, ways of enhancing their teaching skills or increasing their uh, knowledge or skill development of any kind. And uh, I'm extremely uh, happy to say that uh, when we started out in 2009, we had only about 32 remote centers. We used a slightly outdated methodology using the EduSat, the satellite to connect to uh, 32 remote centers. And uh, it wasn't always uh, very easy to uh, you know, connect to teachers. We limited ourselves only to uh, teachers at these 32 uh, remote centers. But uh, I must say that uh, we have moved from 32 remote centers to 352 of uh, 352 remote centers today which I believe is a great uh, leap for all of us. 
and I must congratulate all of you, uh, our partners in this endeavor, to uh, have uh, you know uh, let, walked with us every step of this development, and uh, you are equal partners in this achievement of IIT Bombay. Uh, I'd like to share some uh, statistics with uh, all of you since we are talking about the uh, success of the project. We have uh, reached out to uh, almost uh, four, uh, teachers from 4,088 uh, 4, unique colleges uh, across the country. Uh, we have uh, uh, re uh, reached out to more than a lakh uh, teachers by now. We have 352 remote centers and uh, amongst these uh, uh, 1 lakh teachers uh, that we have reached out to, I must say very proudly that 40% uh, of these participants have been uh, women, which I believe is a great achievement. We uh, take pride in the fact that we have uh, been able to uh, make uh, education, quality education and uh, knowledge enhancement uh, uh, easier for women uh, who not who are not always, uh, uh, it's, it's, which is, it is not always possible for women to leave their homes and their families and um, travel to a distant city uh, in uh, search of uh, knowledge and education. But we have made it possible by reaching out to them through our uh, workshops. We have conducted almost 20 workshops so far and all of them have been uh, very successful. And now as uh, Professor Fatak has uh, already told you, we are now moving into the blended MOOCs uh, format. We have uh, uh, a collaboration with almost 50 autonomous institutes across the country and uh, they will be uh, uh, part uh, participating in uh, three uh, courses immediately. These are uh, thermodynamics, uh, uh, computer programming and signals and systems. And we hope to have a very, very fruitful association with them. Uh, I would be opening up uh, the floor for uh, participation from uh, remote centers in a few minutes from uh, now. But uh, I would really like to take this opportunity to thank all of you, uh, you know, from the bottom of my heart uh, with, uh, you know, a lot of gratitude because uh, if you had not been there and if you had not participated in the way you have, our uh, endeavor uh, to, uh, you know, uh, uh, carry education and knowledge to the remote uh, corners of the country would never have been successful. So a very big thank you from all of us to all of you there out there at the remote centers. Uh, another thing that uh, I have uh, always been saying and, I, I, and I'd like to reiterate right now is that uh, this kind of a large uh, endeavor is never ever possible without a lot of people working uh, uh, in a absolutely dedicated manner to uh, make it successful. So I'd like to uh, mention a few teams that have been uh, uh, totally uh, dedicated to making this uh, project a success. Uh, most importantly is the eStudio team here, which uh, as all of you know, has been uh, interacting with you for the uh, AVU testing and uh, a lot of other things. So could you turn the camera towards the... Yeah, so we have uh, Sajjan here and his team, Sushant. A big thank you to you all. There is also uh, another very important uh, team which always works in the background which you normally never interact with and that's the software team which uh, they are not here today also but uh, they work incessantly to make our entire um, uh, online interaction with you uh, more and more efficient so that uh, there are no glitches when uh, we have registrations of almost uh, thousands of people, 10,000 people at a time on our website. 
So the software team has played a uh, very important role and so has the uh, team of uh, system administrators and uh, they again are the silent workers behind the scene. Uh, they uh, always help you with the uh, Moodle and uh, any uh, uh, queries that you have related to Moodle or any problems that you have related to Moodle. And then uh, we have a very important team that is the accounts team which is, uh, could you move the camera towards the accounts team please? Uh, which funds the workshops and which makes sure that everything is going uh, according to the norms. And of course, the large workshop team. Uh, so all of us together, workshop team. So all of us together uh, form this uh, group at uh, IIT Bombay and uh, we uh, try to make things as uh, easy as possible for the uh, remote centers and uh, it is always our uh, endeavor to uh, you know take feedback from all of you and uh, try to make uh, things uh, work more efficiently and more smoothly and uh, we uh, hope to continue with this collaboration with all of you. So uh, again uh, welcome to this session on uh, Digital India Week. Uh, I have been receiving a lot of uh, queries, my team has been receiving a lot of queries about what is expected of the remote centers uh, during this week. Uh, I would say that uh, since we have been associated uh, so closely in this uh, d digital endeavor of uh, training teachers, uh, I would suggest that you have a local uh, function and showcase the uh, activities that your center has been participating in. This could be uh, the T10KT workshops, this could be the, uh, I mean your uh, remote center could uh, have been an uh, Akash center, your students would be working with Akash tablets or they would be involved in the uh, spoken tutorial or the e yantra or the virtual lab. So you have this chance to showcase all the uh, projects that you have been uh, working or your students have been working uh, with and uh, present them to uh, your uh, local, uh, to the uh, colleges around you so that they would also feel inspired to do something in this area and uh, you know, uh, work together to uh, bridge this uh, digital divide that we have in our country. So thank you very much again for uh, coming, uh, for uh, logging in so early. I know many of you have uh, vacations going on, many of you have uh, the semester just beginning and it is really uh, very much appreciated from all of us here. There are about uh, 100 and 105 centers right now online and um, uh, the team tells me that uh, many of you have logged in as early as 8.30. I'm really overwhelmed by this kind of uh, response. I, especially at such a short notice, we sent you uh, the email only yesterday and uh, it is amazing that uh, we got this kind of a uh, response. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll now uh, open the uh, floor for any uh, responses, any presentations that you might have. Uh, please do remember we have a very tight schedule and we have other uh, teams uh, waiting here. Uh, we have uh, presentations from the other NME ICT projects that are going on in IIT Bombay and uh, as they come in as uh, they are scheduled, I will be introducing them to you. And uh, if you have any presentations or any, uh, uh, any uh, views to uh, put forward, please do uh, make it uh, brief. I do want to uh, go to as many centers as possible. So uh, please do remember that we have a whole lot of presentations uh, being uh, prepared here and they will be waiting. So which center can we go to? And uh, another thing that I'd like to uh, mention here, uh, if you have any queries about the uh, upcoming workshops, we will handle them separately. This function is only for the Digital India Week. Please do remember that. Thank you. Yeah. So.
which ones? Uh, if any of you uh, have any presentations to make, uh, uh, please uh, raise your hands and we will begin with them. Okay, we'll start with the Royal College of Engineering. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Uh, yes, please go on. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, ma'am, uh, so our work, yes, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, our digitization, uh, we have done digitization for Trishur Medical College. Uh, so we have implemented uh, and deployed an automated system, token system for the Trishur Medical College staffs and patients. Uh, so the doctors can able to see and retrieve the patient information during every checkup. Also our students include an alert message system for the patient during the next checkup. And we also received a special award uh, from the district collector for this particular digitization work. And uh, the next one we have done uh, for the Gramma uh, Panchayat, uh, uh, nearby Panchayat, Porklam mm -hmm. and uh, Alankot Panchayat. So we have done all the personal and educational details regarding each members in each house were digitized by our students. And if anyone uh, wants to know, to, uh, wants to search about any degree holders in particular ward, uh, it will be retrieved information quickly. Also we have done... Uh, uh, for the Alatur village, uh, we have done the election ID uh, uh, online system. So these are the uh, digitization work has done by the Royal Engineering College. Thank you. Thank you so much, Royal Engineering College. You should really present your work to uh, the people around you, the uh, colleges around you, so that they would also be inspired by your work. Thank you so much. Sarvajanik College of Engineering. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, we are from 1043 RCID. Uh, Dr. Mayuri Mehta will enlisted the activities depend upon our digital format at our centers. So I just hand over to uh, Professor Mayuri Mehta. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I would like to highlight the few of the digital activities which are conducted at our college. Uh, we use ERP to automate the institution's business processes and uh, to increase the centralization of data, flexibility and the transparency. We also use online feedback system that is uh, developed in-house using .NET and uh, as well. And uh, here the students, they are provided a password and ID and from anywhere in the college they can fill up the feedback and uh, automatically the reports are generated uh, uh, subject-wise, teacher-wise. We have got uh, state-of-art computing uh, facilities to conduct online examination uh, in our college and using the strong IT infrastructure, so far we have uh, uh, around 60,000 uh, students have been tested so far and uh, we are second uh, in Gujarat for conducting this online examination. We are uh, actively participating in a spoken tutorial in initiative of uh, IIT Bombay uh, to promote uh, open source software and uh, so far we have conducted uh, 50 plus trainings for more than uh, 1000 students. We also use Moodle which is a virtual learning uh, environment to make the uh, some tasks easy like uh, to make the online assignment handling for a quick sharing of documents etc. We use a sole software package in our library to, uh, uh, to as the uh, in, uh, to as the in-house functionality of library and to automate the uh, various functionalities of library like cataloging, indexing, searching, etc. And we also aim to have a RFID uh, system in our library to automate the functionalities of library in near future. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Sarvajanik College. Uh, just let me know when the time. Yeah, so now we'll go to uh, Valchan. Valchan College of Technology. Yeah, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, I'm happy to participate in this particular Digital India Week and IIT Bombay Initiative. Uh, this is Solapur, in right? this remote center, we have conducted all the workshops right from May 2012. And since from that May 2012, 
we have adapted the moodle so we have started with e submissions e uh, online submissions conductions of the objective examinations on moodle and we are regularly using that moodle uh, second important thing is that we are the resource center for spoken tutorial for solapur university and under this uh, in this particular remote uh, resource center we have conducted more than 11 workshops on c c++ scilab python java and in many of the institutes we have conducted this particular workshops under spoken tutorial uh, then we are the akash center so we have developed some apps which will be useful as a real time applications one important project that we have developed is that eight standard science book we have totally converted with the help of flash and web files so student will be able to view all these files and really feel that concept instead of only reading in a book we are also practicing online feedback so we have developed in house uh, we are having in house developments for online feedback also uh, we have also one more that e course book so all the faculties are maintaining their uh, whole work or the records with this particular e thing so we can save our time and efforts we are in the process of setting virtual labs also which will help again us in active learning we are very helpful uh, that we have uh, we are helpful for iit bombay in participating education technology workshops because uh, we have now more than 10 papers in education technology and not only 10 papers but now active learning is happening in the class than the traditional learning and uh, as the gate is online we do conduct that gate examination but along with the gate examinations many online examinations we do conduct at it uh, in our institute so we are towards e and m era over here thank you thank you valchan uh, solapur uh, i'm really happy that uh, you were also uh, here today i have very fond memories of visiting your college thank you so much she wants to go uh, more than 70 students are certified in mooc pro, uh, on computer programming also oh. of second year information technology csc and mechanical over there okay. so that is one more achievement in our vidas over there. thank you thank you yeah ms Hello. pillai good good morning madam good morning Uh, from uh, tomorrow, uh, from Monday onwards, we are uh, Mechanical Engineering Department of Pillai Institute of uh, Engineering is conducting digital prototyping and uh, uh, product design uh, faculty development program for uh, Mumbai University faculty members. So that is uh, uh, one program we are conducting under Digital Week, uh, Digital India Week. Then uh, we are having in-house developed academic monitoring system. to monitor students progress uh, daily basis uh, all our faculty members are uh, uh, giving their inputs for uh, uh, notes developments and uh, uh, the attendance is monitored through all the students attendance is monitored through that uh, academic monitoring system again we are conducting online feedback subject feedback as well as faculty feedback uh, through this software which is uh, developed by Uh, our uh, uh, software developers uh, professor amol and uh, uh, madam uh, 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 we are having d space uh, on which all our faculty members are uploading their uh, class notes for all the students every student is having his own username and password he can uh, use it and access uh, the class notes class lectures even uh, uh, we are using nptel videos to uh, give additional information about the subject to our students and uh, that way we are moving ahead uh, towards digital india these are our inputs for uh, digitalization of uh, indian education systems thank you madam thank you so much uh Sidak Noida. Yes, Sidak Noida, please go ahead. Yeah, good morning. I am Arthi Noor, and uh, 
I would like to tell how many events we are organizing throughout this DIW week. First of all, approximately yeah, first of all, approximately 400 staff member attended the DIW launch by our Prime Minister. It was really a very, very uh, wonderful experience for all of us. Then throughout the, we are organizing very different type of events. Uh, today we are showcasing the CDEC pro, uh, products. Then a quiz will be organized and uh, a workshop on IoT also we are going to organize throughout this week. And uh, definitely through e-learning projects, uh, we are spreading the knowledge of ESDM and other IT, uh, IT related uh, courses. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Nanamadi College of Engineering. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I'm audible. Good morning. Yes, you are audible and it is fantastic Good to morning. see such a large uh, crowd out there at your remote center. Thank you all for coming. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your appreciation, ma'am. <laughs> ah, ah, yes. So, ma'am, in our college, we are uh, using the dig uh, digital library in our library to, to, to view the all, uh, NPTEL videos and uh, other uh, IIT professors' lectures. And then we have an attendance monitoring system both for staff and students in a digital manner in our college. And then we have a, a special e-gate. So that was developed by our own students. So to our, whomever entering into our college, they will be monitored with the help of that e-gate system. Uh, apart from that, we have a GRC which is called as Nyan Resource Center. So in which all the staff members, they will use to upload their study materials uh, to the students. Students can view uh, their study materials with the help of the GRC. And then we are also conducting an online test for the final year students. Uh, then also we have IDC cell which is working under the online. Uh, and then uh, we have online bus booking facilities also in our campus. And then uh, these are all the online uh, thing, uh, facilities and then digital systems what we are using inside our campus. And then we uh, from our Nyanamani College of Engineering that is RC1203. Uh, we have participated more than 11 workshop uh, with the help of this, uh, uh, with the, with this IIT Bombay and Karakpur. Uh, and then on behalf of all uh, our college and then management, we sincerely thank, uh, thank IIT Bombay and Karakpur uh, for conducting such a wonderful workshop. So thank you very much for all your efforts. So we sincerely thank your technical crew who is working behind the scene for the very success of all the workshop. Uh, and, then we are, and then another one question I want to ask you here is, uh, here is uh, so our Prime Minister initiated uh, Digital India. So we are also celebrating the Digital India Week here. Uh, using this uh, IIT uh, workshop, so, what is our mission towards this Digital India Week? So, that I want to uh, ask on behalf of our college. So, previously we had a mission like teaching of 10,000 teachers. So, like that. So, under this Digital India uh, Week theme, so what is our mission uh, to move along with, with this theme? So, that is my question. Uh, I think for each of uh, us who is in this digital uh, media field, the mission should be that we reach out to as many people as possible and educate them about this, uh, the entire digital uh, education system and uh, uh, guide them in uh, the various ways in which they can use these uh, various uh, um, uh, systems to educate themselves and to uh, uh, inspire them to use these things in their everyday life, in their teaching, in uh, for the students and f to enhance the learning of their students. I ho I'm sure that, I mean, the number of things that you are already doing in your college, you have already, uh, you know, uh, achieved a lot of these goals. But I just wanted to uh, remind you that instead of just keeping it in your own college, you should also, uh, uh, you know, uh, have an event where you can have uh, people from other colleges uh, visiting you and uh, showcase your efforts to them so that uh, they will also be uh, inspired enough to do something similar in their own colleges. Thank you so much. Which one? University of Petroleum and Energy. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, uh, please. Good go morning, ma'am. 
Yeah, uh, and this is one of the very good initiative from IIT Bombay. We can appreciate such kind of efforts. Like I would like to mention what uh, digital efforts our university is uh, implemented rather. Uh, so first of all, I would like to mention here one of the thing which is implemented first in India in one of the private university that is SAP. So uh, with the help of SAP platform, uh, we have ESS uh, employees, employee self-service module. With the help of that, our leaves and appraisal and all other things would be done by the digital there is no uh, paperwork which is been done for the appraisal as well as for the vacations all kind of vacations have been covered in that including your i'm afraid i'm afraid your uh, audio is lost Uh, okay, due to paucity of time, we will be moving on to another center now. We will uh, try to come back to you towards the end if possible. Goa College of Engineering. Goa College. Good morning, madam. No audio. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Good morning, madam. Good I'm morning. I'm Ketan Naik, Assistant Registrar of Goa College of Engineering. In our college, most of the things related to students are done online, such as online semester registration, online online uh, exam registration, and even processing of uh, results, um, processing of eligibility, and all the students are provided with uh, user ID and password so that they can view their results as well as eligibility online. Apart from this, we have done ME admissions online as well as payment of fees through NIC Goa. And also, we also conduct online examination for recruitments for government of Goa as well as various industries in and around Goa. And we also conduct e-learning for Group C and Group uh, C, B and C employees for our state government. And we have uh, developed uh, uh, modules for uh, stores, library, accounts, as well as administration section. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Chameli Devi. Chameli Devi group of institutions. Yeah. Please go ahead. No audio. No audio. No audio from your side. Please check your mic. Please sir. check your mic. Uh, sorry, there is no audio from your side. We'll be moving on to the other center. Yeah. Knowledge Institute. Knowledge Institute. This is uh, Satyanathan from Knowledge Institute of Technology. Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Good morning, madam. Good morning. I'm Satyanathan from Knowledge Institute of Technology, Tamil Nadu. Remote center ID is 1146. First of all, uh, we would like to thank uh, Professor Pathak and uh, Mukta madam for uh, taking efforts on this Digital India Week celebrations and uh, conducting uh, various programs through EU outreach. Thank you, madam. And in our uh, Knowledge Institute of Technology, we provide this uh, facility to the arts and science colleges and polytechnics nearby. Most of the faculty from these uh, nearby institutions they are benefited out of this uh, remote center programs. And uh, through this remote center, we have organized more than uh, 17 uh, programs in IIT Bombay and IIT Karakpur. And then uh, our uh, college has a ERP system and then uh, the students database, other uh, test and monitoring systems are done through that ERP. And uh, the placement training we have that to training uh, as a part of training activities, we provide online test and other uh, test provided through online that is digital. And then uh, the TCS and other companies uh, exams being conducted online exams 
as a center in a Knowledge Institute of Technology. And uh, our uh, college is this, uh, through this Internet of Things, students uh, are automating the process through these mobile apps. And in mechanical engineering also, we have uh, slowly uh, uh, preparing an app for uh, a subject that uh, will be uh, released to soon in uh, Google. And then uh, we have the digital web bench to design the projects. And uh, the lab courses are uh, connected uh, digitally. We have online uh, software modules to train the students on soft skills. And then uh, in uh, our uh, college, every class is provided with this uh, LCD projector with internet connectivity. And we use uh, NPTEL videos and other videos to the students. That is what we do. And then uh, we conduct these uh, big exams, all these uh, IELTS, TOEFL, etc. We conduct online exams in our institutions. And then we have a digital library. To add a few, uh, Professor Avikumar is with me. Uh, good morning, ma'am. I would like to add one more point. That is, uh, we normally encourage the students to participate in the various MOOC courses are conducted by NPTEL and IIT Bombay X. Uh, last time, uh, nearly 25 students and uh, five faculties are attending the program, and uh, 13 students and two faculty member got certification after successful completion of the course. This time, also nearly 50 students are part, uh, registered their uh, on MOOC course for uh, introduction to programming in C by NPTEL. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Yeah, so we have uh, just about five minutes left by uh, before I hand over the mic to my colleague here. Uh, so we'll go to uh, Dr. Mahalingam College of Engineering. Dr. Mahalingam College of Engineering. Morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. India, very much happy to be the part of this school. India, we celebrate. Ah, sir, your audio is very low. Can you please hold the mic properly and speak? Introduce the paperless uh, work in the eyes and in front of the digital work in our campus. India has a software work group. Inside the campus to automate uh, to do, reduce the paperless work in the Indian have uh, some of the application. Uh, we are developing the student portal application, app portal, and to access uh, some of the books uh, we have a digital sir, library. Your audio is not proper. The audio is not proper. We will come back to you later. But at the moment, we'll just move on. KS Rangasamy College of Engineering. Uh, there is no video. We'll move on to Dronacharya College of Engineering. Dronacharya Good morning, ma'am. Here from Dronachari College of Engineering, Gurgaon. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Please go ahead. Hello. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Uh, ma'am, we are from Dronachari College of Engineering, Gurgaon. Like, uh, there are certain uh, uh, key benefits which we have categorized and which we are following our Dronachari College. First is easy access to information, helping in protecting the environment, easiness, is, easiness in teaching, increasing the popularity of distance teaching learning, and technology makes teaching enjoyable. Now. Uh, where uh, in, in this the digital presence in our colleges, ICT based courses from IIT Bombay, IIT Kharagpur, QEEE IIT Madras, and also from NITRTR Chandigarh. And we are uh, also making webinar as an important part of our curriculum where more than 1000 students are certified and we have even faculty members and students which are uh, creating technical awareness and giving the webinars. And we are uh, making this online courses as a mandatory part of our curriculum. For example, we are following NPTEL, Udemy, Allison, Khan Academy, etc. And even stu students and faculty members are on using cloud infrastructure with VLearn and vCampus facility where all the students have developed their own website and we are submitting assignment, PPT lectures, everything on our VLearn portal. And now we, uh, for example, now we have 
various academies also like we have sent microsoft center of academy cisco network academy oracle huawei ibm red hat academy uh, for students awareness and we are a smart class like we have lcd projector and everything and we have digital library having more than 35 35000 ebooks we are member of inflipnet and list e granthale and our college is wifi enabled and we are also reaching to schools through our edc and spoken tutorial project we are only college in haryana which have which have three star rated and we have virtual lab we are working in collaboration with iit delhi for virtual lab and we have e yantra and akash center also thank you ma'am excellent thank you so much for your participation uh, i will move on to the next item in our uh, agenda today we will be having uh, presentations from uh, my colleagues uh, from various uh, projects in iit uh, i request you all to uh, kindly uh, uh, attend these presentations and we will try to continue the interaction later on if time permits thank you uh, we will start with uh, ms madhulika sharma from madhulika goel. madhulika goel from uh, ask a question project right come I'll just open the browser yeah. and keep. Yeah, this is external. is the fill acha this is the aviv yeah okay uh, good morning to all of you all around india thank you for joining us for digital india week at iit bombay today i am going to represent talk to a teacher iit bombay project under this project we have three projects uh, which we are running first one is research scope next is courses on view and the other one is ask a question now together these three portals uh, cater to the ug pg and the research group so the portal i will talk one i'll take up the portals one by one so that i can tell you what exactly we are doing in each of the portal now in the uh, we started the project with the courses on view portal this portal basically allows uh, the viewers to go through
the portal courses and view allows all the viewers to go through the live recordings of iit bombay classroom and they can view if you look at this portal you have disciplines on to your left hand side you can select the discipline that you want to look at for example if i select electrical engineering any course that i want to select for example digital uh, i have taken digital communications so this page overall gives you a overview of this particular course it talks about the syllabus the prerequisite the references everything that you need to have before you start studying this course or you want to know more about this course if we click on any of the lectures you will see the four quadrant appearing over here uh, the quadrant on to your left hand top is the video lecture that is recorded on to your right top is the slides so if you are not able to see slides properly in the video you can come to this particular panel and see go through the slides you can uh, you can browse through it you can pause it it is at the mouse click uh, the quadrant on the left bottom tells you the various things that are resources that are uh, associated with that particular course and also we have assignments for this particular course so we have assignment 1 2 3 4 all these assignment together nine of them covers all full syllabus so the assignments are divided chapter wise and if you click on assignment you will be able to see the questions and if you were to click on the solutions you will get the solution for those questions so this is how the portal is designed so that uh, some we have not recorded all the courses of iit bombay and put them but a selected few are put and made available for the uh, viewers now at the bottom for the electrical engineering and physics courses mostly we have a bar which says want to ask a question for example if i am viewing this particular course this particular lecture i have a doubt in this particular slide i can post a question over here and the question will immediately get post if i click on submit it will get posted to the forum that we have i'll talk about the forum a little later and from that forum the faculty member can answer the question now the forum that i am talking about is ask a question this is a forum which allows students to ask a question to us now this uh, forum we designed in a unique way in the sense all the questions are text based but all the responses are video only so a student can ask a question in any way they want uh, typed and then the responses are given only on thursdays and fridays in the fields of electrical engineering and physics so we have a live interactive session every thursday for electrical engineering and every fridays on for physics so if you will if you'll go to the forum of this particular uh, portal we will see that we have divided the forum as ele under electrical engineering we have the uh, different uh, Uh, fields of electrical engineering that we are taking in iit bombay so the questions pertaining to electrical engineering would be seen over here if we click on control engineering the questions will be seen uh, for the control engineering con uh, communication engineering the questions for communication engineering so for example i click on a particular micro uh, electronics on on to my right hand top i see answered and unanswered at two category so all the questions that are answered if i click on answer the, all the questions that have been answered will come over here sorry i clicked on the wrong link i guess oh this is external no okay i'm sorry this link will not work from here uh, there is another link that will work so if you are at your end you can try and see uh, the links working at your end um you can also go back to yes you can also view the sessions or questions from archival yes the session will get uploaded on all the questions that have been asked on the forum are answered so you can select if you know the session which you ask the question uh, the session or if you don't know the question, uh, the session which you ask the question you can select from here which discipline you want to uh, you had asked the question or if you are searching for a particular question you can click over there and you will get the 
response. So, this is a question that is being asked on the forum and the responses are given over here. Another uh, portal that we have is researcher scope. Now, in on this, under this uh, portal, we have the presentations of the PhD students of IIT Bombay. These students uh, have uh, submitted their uh, thesis and now on the way of getting their doctoral degree. Now, if you go over here and click on view presentation, again we have the similar kind of menu. We have the disciplines mentioned and we have uh, we, if we click on any of the presentations, we on this particular panel, you see abstract what the presentation is all about, what are the publications made by that particular student, what uh, about the speaker, who is he, what is his background and where is he now and the supervisor who has guided him. Uh, similarly, over here the video plays and over here you can scroll the slides. So, this is just to make people aware about what kind of uh, research is happening at IIT Bombay and also we want uh, there is a discussion forum that we are creating through this portal. So, that the researchers all over uh, India can talk to each other and uh, know or solve their uh, uh, difficulties whatever they are having. Um, this is about the talk to a teacher portal. If you have any queries or uh, any doubts, you can ask. Uh, please hand raise if you have any questions regarding this session. So, thank you. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you all go through this portal at your uh, leisure time and do uh, look at the courses and do give your feedback on the portal itself. Thank you. We will now have uh, Pushpadeep Mishra from the Virtual Labs project to tell you all something about the project. Oh, yes. the internet as well? Yeah, but if you want to show something on the internet, we need to share the desktop screen. So that okay, we I'll use it then maybe if it requires. Okay. So whatever you want to do, you just tell me I'll just do yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just let me know when it starts. Good morning to all of you who are connected to, to the, this program. I am going to introduce you regarding virtual labs. Uh, well, virtual labs as many of the remote centers, uh, they discussed about that they are already a part of this. Uh, as we all know that laboratory is a very important uh, uh, component in the uh, study of science. 
And we can hardly imagine any science learning without a laboratory attached to the academic uh, institution. So this is how a typical lab looks like, where you have certain gadgets, certain chemicals, and uh, certain other uh, things available which, uh, because of which a student can actually learn the uh, science behind that. Now there are some problems with the existing labs, the traditional labs. First of all, it is not available for all the time. So there is a specific uh, time slot given to the student who can come at the specific uh, practical session and can perform this. Now at certain times the reagents, the equipments which are used are very costly and not every academic institution has it all the time. And uh, the one very uh, important problem that we no noticed is that uh, the students, if they want to repeat the practicals, they cannot do that. The reason is uh, the practical is available only for one particular semester, once in a year and maybe once in a lifetime. And we cannot expect the students to understand the concept totally by just performing the practical ones. So therefore, MHRD understood this problem and uh, began the project uh, called as Virtual Labs. So the solution is that uh, basically we have a simulator-based remotely accessed uh, lab which is available through internet to the remote users. Now if you can see on the screen, uh, there are some uh, simulator, simulations uh, screenshots uh, have been placed. Now uh, these are instruments which are uh, simulated and students can actually interact with them um, in a, and they can actually perform the practical step by step. Now uh, let me tell you what are these uh, virtual labs and what are the types of this. So we have three kinds of uh, virtual labs available online. The one is the modeling and simulation lab, the other is the measurement based lab and the third one is remote triggered labs. In the modeling and simulation labs, a student uh, uh, come across uh, the simulated environment when he, wherein uh, he can interact with the uh, animated uh, uh, instruments and then he can perform the practical. Whereas in the remote based and the uh, measurement based practicals, there is actually a device which is kept at the remote location. For example, there is a device uh, uh, like a reactor, chemical reactor or a bioreactor which is kept at IIT Bombay. It is connected through internet and the students can actually go online, read the theory, procedure and then perform the practicals. They get the real access to the instrument and they can perform the practicals in the real time and can get the data from the instrument and can uh, perform the practicals. One example of this is the simulation lab of the gas liquid absorption. We have taken the screenshot of this. If you can see, it is just like your lab journal. It has objective, theory, manual, pre-viva, video documentation, simulator, and FAQs. So a student has to go through all these steps and then perform the practicals. One of the very best thing it has is the FAQs and the post-viva questions. So student can make himself sure that he has understood the concept by answering the questions as well. And the typical practical session, it lasts for around say uh, two to three hours in the traditional labs. Uh, but on the simulation lab, on the virtual lab, a maximum time is the 20 minutes. So in the 20 minutes, student can retake the practicals again and again, and 24 by seven is on demand service, which is available free of cost to entire nation. So one of the example of the remote trigger lab is the single board heater system lab. This is the open hardware developed by IIT Bombay. And um, this is a setup to, uh, uh, to understand the uh, temperature studies over the filament of wire. So this is actually available online on vlab.co.in. I'll give you the URL in the later uh, slides. You can actually book a slot and take a slot for half an hour and student can actually perform the practicals and can actually get the data as well from the lab. If you can see this graph, this graph has actually come from the uh, RT lab uh, experiment after the performance of the experiment. So this is the common portal that is vlab.co.in where you can access uh, all the labs. So we have almost uh, uh, 100 labs. So each lab consists of 10 experiments. So in all we have more than 1000 experiments online. That is a huge resource of labs that is available online. So this has been created by uh, the participating institutes such as IIT Delhi, Bombay, Kanpur and other premier institutes. So there is a quality content. It has been created uh, with the professors of IIT Bombay. So we have a virtual lab for every stream of science and engineering. Uh, there are physical science, uh, biomedical, bioengineering, electrical engineering, chemical, mechanical, computer science, and so on. So if you can see this graph, the numbers indicate the number of labs that are available. So as I told you before, each lab has at least 10 uh, experiments. 
The benefits for the teacher is that it is a complete learning management system. And it is inexpensive, it costs nothing. You just have to connect to the internet and you can uh, give the uh, training to the students. It, it is mapped with the curriculum, so it is nothing out of the syllabus. It has been designed with the curriculum uh, keeping in mind. It is efficient and useful teaching aid uh, for your classrooms. For the students, it is motivating them because now there is one-to-one -one interaction. So students are no more performing the practicals in groups. They are getting one-to-one -one interaction with the virtual environment. So even before taking the exams or before going to the actual lab, this will take the fear out of the student's mind and will give them immense confidence to perform the real uh, practicals. Physical uh, distance is no longer the limit. Now actually they can uh, access it whenever they want. And there is a quality education since it is designed by the IITs. Also, it has a very important feature as I discussed. Uh, it is self-evaluation. Students can evaluate themselves on their virtual labs. So it works like this. There is a physical lab. This is a schema of the remote uh, triggered lab. There is a remote located uh, instrument which is connected to internet and in turn the users, remote users access the lab. So whatever the, uh, we conduct the field trials and whatever the data is we get from the teachers and the students, we take it back to the development team and we keep on iterating this stuff uh, so that we improve the quality of the uh, virtual labs that we have. So the current status of the project is that uh, in the, we are in the now the second phase. Uh, the first pilot phase had uh, almost 10 labs as a proof of concept. It was liked by the, in the trial, field trial we conducted by all the institutions. Now at this stage we have more than 100 labs and more than 1000 experiment. We have more than 35 remote triggered labs that is uh, available. So the spread so far is more than 50,000 students have been trained, more than 1,000 faculty members have been trained, uh, more than 100 colleges have been covered, and more than 36 uh, workshops has been uh, conducted across the nation. Students' feedback have been excellent to very good. Uh, that's a good achievement for the virtual lab. Uh, so they are actually using the virtual labs. So we encourage uh, the other participating institutes, the remote, lo remote centers, if you wish to be a part of virtual labs, we have this procedure where you send us, uh, invite us to conduct a small workshop after which we uh, conduct a workshop. You have to express the interest to join with the virtual labs. And then uh, we establish nodal centers across uh, the cities. And these nodal centers in turn train their students and they can also call the other colleges nearby and train the other colleges as well. So in this way, we try to reach at the grassroots level uh, in training the students in the virtual labs. So the advantages of being a nodal center is that uh, the college, you, you will be on the ICT national map of uh, MHRD taken project, just like the other projects of ICT. Uh, you will get the technic uh, technical and financial feedback uh, from the uh, IIT Bombay to train your students and to conduct the projects. And as a nodal center, uh, the college will be helping the other colleges as well. So it's a kind of social educational responsibility that your college will have in training these students. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, any questions? Thank you.